All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you another cool uh, card trick that you can do to impress anybody that you like. All right, so what you'll do is you start off the trick by having the spectator hold on to these two cards and you'll let them know that you know you're going to get back to that in a second. Let's just pick a card first. All right, so they're going to pick whichever card that they want. In this case, it's going to be this card, which I have no clue and I can't see it, but it's your card. And I'm going to put it into the direct middle of the deck and we're just going to get it shuffled up. So this way, I have no clue uh, where your card is. So that's why I have the help of these two cards. If you would give these back to me, tell the spectator that you have the Ace of Hearts and the Ace of Diamonds. So these cards are going to help me find yours. So go ahead and hold on to these for just a moment while I look for which one uh, your card was. So I'm going through the deck here and I believe that your card. You know what, I don't even think your card is in the deck anymore. What were, can you check and see what the aces are doing? And you open the cards up, and the spectators are magically holding on to their selection. So if you guys like this trick, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so the good thing is um, that there isn't really a setup. Uh, you just have to have the two aces on top of the deck, and that's pretty much it because you're just gonna give these to the spectator anyway. And you're going to tell them that they're not supposed to look um, at the cards, right? Because that kind of gives you an excuse to give them for the spectator to give them back to you because it looks kind of fishy if they already know what the cards are and then you say, can I see those? And then you do the maneuver, it just looks weird. So you have them hold on to the cards face down. You say, you know what, we're gonna get back to these. And now this is a completely random deck. The spectator is gonna pick whichever card they want, in this case, the four of spades. You're gonna put this into the middle of the deck, but you're really just gonna get it back to the top and I'll leave a link for that. So you're bringing the card back to the top of the deck. And then once it's here, you can bring back those two aces. So this is why it makes sense not to show them the faces already because if you've already introduced what the aces are and you say, we're gonna use you know these two aces right here, it's kind of like, you know they already know what the cards are, so it doesn't make sense. So then you say, okay, so let me see what those cards were. In this case, we have the ace of hearts. And while you introduce them, I forgot to tell you guys, you're supposed to get a pinky break underneath the top card, which is their card holding on, pushing it over with your thumb, pulling it back, and then holding it in a break, and then putting both aces on top of the break, just like this. And then you pick the aces up, so you have the three cards, there's the spectator's card, and then the two aces. Pick it up, whole packet, slide over the top ace, put them together, it looks pretty good, you can't see anything, you close it up, you say, okay, hold on to those one more time. And at this point, you can do whatever you want. You can say whatever you want. All you want to do is create a little time barrier between the time that you pick the aces up and the time that you, you know, reveal the card in between. Because if there's no time in between, the spectator might just put two and two together that when you took the aces back, that's when you switch the card. I mean, they might think that later on, but at this point in time, they're really not going to know. Um, as long as you give them, like I said, a nice little time barrier, you can make up, make up whatever pattern you like. That way they don't immediately assume that when you took the aces again from them, that that's when you took the, you know, the card or did something, all right? So that's basically the trick, and I hope this one works out for you guys, and as always, thanks for watching.